So I just want to make this video real quick and also I'm gonna just take this off and hold it. I don't know, bro. I just really wanted to talk about this for a little bit, but I feel like everybody be chasing a lot of things that you want to be successful in. You want to have options of doing what you want to do in this life. You want to run around and just be amazing and get all this money, get all these followers. I don't know, have an amazing network, get the house, get the car you want, get everything, blah, blah, blah. And yes, don't get me wrong. That's all fine and dandy and that's amazing. That's good. But I feel like a lot of people don't put in what they need to put in to act actually get to where they need to go and a big piece that I feel like is neglected a lot is your mind bro like a lot of people need to fix their fucking like brain and fix what come out of their mouth bro and I'm one of them people who real life feel like everything that you do in life or everything that I can do in this life is obtainable if I want this car I can get it this house I can get it if I want seven trillion dollars I'm gonna get that shit one day by any means necessary and I have no doubt in my mind anything that I say that I'm going to do I'm going to do that shit and that's just the fact of the matter. There's nothing that's going to deter me from being able to do it. I feel like no outside sources, no outside people, people with opinions, blogs, critics, whoever else. Even if I fall on my ass or I fuck up or do anything like that, I don't think I'm ever going to lose. But yeah, as long as I fall on my ass, like I'm never going to lose at any situation that I do. And one thing I just really wanted to talk about on this video as far as like how I think you should fix your mind. I feel like a lot of y'all really doubt yourself or don't give yourself credit for the amount of work y'all actually put in or actually done. And I do feel like there's a bunch of y'all who actually just never do shit, to be honest. And yes, it's Valentine's Day. I'm wearing pink. You know what I'm saying? Gotta have it on. Pink, one of my favorite colors. But I feel like y'all go chase a lot of stuff and don't really try and put, you know, anything behind what you're really doing. So you get down in the dumps and everything like that because you're so focused on all the reasons outside of why you're doing something. If you're doing something for money, strictly money is not really your passion. You just want to get money, get money, get money. Or you don't even have a slight passion to it. Nine times out of ten, that's shit's not gonna work if you do some shit because oh this is what i like doing i enjoy doing this i'm gonna start doing this because i want to do it you're gonna have a good time at doing it and you're not gonna be so worried about the money or x y z because people even if especially if the thing that you are trying to do in life requires an audience you're going to need those people to be supporting you and i feel like a lot of people can tell when shit is just money driven but as far as like for example i guess to put it in perspective for me like i want to be a good big ass content creator i don't don't care what type of content I do care what type of content but I don't care what platform Instagram Twitter YouTube wherever the fuck else bro TikTok I don't care bro I just want to be a big content creator and so like even starting these YouTube videos where I'm filming every single day I got this mindset after I watched this video with Emma Chamberlain and I even told Forrest like bro Forrest you gotta go watch this shit and I don't know why but like I fuck with Emma so heavy and I've always watched her content so heavily that that video really hit for me like certain shit she was saying in it so I'm like bro fuck this like everybody want to know what my life like anyway and I don't even put too much like I don't put as much out on the internet where you would know my actual personality because you can't it's all short form content you gotta cut things for certain lengths x y and z so I'm thinking wow YouTube videos I don't need to have some big thought out process of how I'm gonna film my videos just go and y'all know how I feel about this YouTube shit it's always been fun and I'm not gonna even put myself on like a I need to be a YouTube YouTuber type. I'm doing this shit because it's genuinely fun. My homie Ray Sean posted something in the caption of his video or his picture that he just posted yesterday. And it says, you got all these rules and wonder why you feel stuck. And like he said more in that, but that says this alone has said a lot for me. Cause it's like, you got all these rules and wonder why you feel stuck. So that goes into like, for example, all these YouTube videos. If I feel like, oh, I love making these videos, but I have to hit this number. I have to get this many subscribers. Oh, I'm a YouTuber. So I'm gonna compare myself to the other youtubers that have been doing this shit way longer than me and have made more like For example, this is a fashion space. The fashion space is not that big of a community If y'all want to be so honest lifestyle, you can get a bigger community out of that But you got all these rules and wonder why you feel stuck and it makes sense why everybody feels so stuck Because you got to have all these requirements. You need this 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 and this you need this amount of views You need to make sure this do good. You need to make sure this get many this many like this many X Y Z that's not how this shit's supposed to go 
for example, like I gave with me starting these YouTube videos. I wanted to start them because I wanted to fucking do them. I'm not thinking like, I need to be a YouTuber. I want to be a YouTuber. Am I good enough to be a YouTuber? Is my videos good enough to do X, Y, and Z? We can change this shit into Instagram. I don't get this many likes. Are my fits trash? Did I put this together right? Well, it's not that many comments on this. Oh, it didn't get as many likes. Bro, y'all setting all these criteria and rules on shit that y'all just wanted to do. Like, it all started from you wanting to have fun and do something that you enjoy doing. And then, don't let get me wrong, but like, even Rick Rubin would say, always the consumers comes last. You put out shit that you want to put out, and once you put that stuff out, whether they like it or not, you should be happy with the fact that you really are the one that's putting out some shit that you wanted to put out for your fans, supporters, or whoever else to enjoy. It don't gotta be so difficult, and it don't gotta be so hard. And I feel like what I was saying earlier about changing how you fucking talk is basically just saying stop self-doubting yourself stop giving yourself these criteria on what you need to do how you need to do it what other person you can compare your shit to bro everybody isn't unique in their own way everybody's videos and stuff are not going to turn out just like everybody else's and you got to take the stance of if you really willing to die behind doing x y and z like whatever your x y and z is for me i'll just say like videos content fit pics getting dressed doing all x y and z bro i don't give a fuck i'm gonna do it like i didn't i've probably filmed this is the longest i probably filmed videos back to back to back to back ever in my life and i feel so like just turned up like ready even when i don't feel like filming i got that ps5 yesterday didn't film not once but i made sure in between games and shit, I was editing the video so the video could go up today. And now I'm filming this video knowing like something has to go up today in real time today because you didn't film yesterday. I could have just been on bullshit and did whatever the case was, but I know I'm sitting here really rambling a lot, but I think people need to change the way they think. If you always talking about like you arguing, battling internally with yourself, like I don't know if I could do this, but I don't know, like I should try X, Y, and Z, or am I as good as I actually think I am, bro? Respectfully, nobody gives a fuck, bro. And that's just the truth of the matter. And I feel like if you want to be great, you need to start to realize that the only opinion that actually matters is yours. But I don't want to even like be, I wouldn't even think to be friends with nobody or want to be like nobody who like really just challenge their own thoughts all day. Like why do you, it's so many evils outside in the world. Why do you and your brain want to be like beefing with each other? That don't make sense to me. And I would never, and don't get me wrong. Like I understand people get sad, get depressed get blah 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 but i don't believe in none of that shit like i'm depressed or i'm just sad or i'm bro it's shit i gotta do it's shit i gotta handle it's shit that need to be done my mom i want to buy her some crazy shit i want to make sure my family is good and taken care of i want to make sure i'm taken care of bro there's things i gotta do so i'm not gonna always ever feel like in conflict with my mind because that's just not how it should be don't oh man like don't really Bro, y'all just got to stop fighting yourself, bro. That's all I want to say. I didn't want to make this video mad long, so I don't think it's going to be mad long. But y'all don't need to fight yourself on certain things that you are in control of. You're in control of your own mind. I don't know if y'all, like, really grasp that. You can do whatever the fuck you put your mind. Now, to the people who I feel like don't actually work at all, maybe this video is not for you. But I will tell you, you need to get off your ass and actually put some work in. And if you thinking, oh, well, I want to do this. I want to try to do this i want to do blah 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 just get the fuck up and do it just do it bro i promise like how do y'all think i got here y'all flood my dms all day asking cj how'd you get here how'd you do this how'd you do blah 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 i don't know i got up and tried like that's all i can tell you i got up and tried i knew i dropped out of school and wanted to do x y and z my mom she know the type of kid runs is at least she's gonna jump in and be like hey you can't come here you can't do this you can't do that i'm not gonna help you do cool Fucking figure it out. I got you. I'm the motherfucker that's gonna figure it out in all terms. But like, bro, I don't want to harp too much on this video. But like, a lot of creators are all focused on numbers and algorithms and what this comment says, what people think. And don't get me wrong, I do look at the algorithm, bro. I try and make sure X, Y, Z, what numbers look good, what don't look good. That's just trial and error. That's not me fighting myself. Like, am I as good as what I think I am? Maybe I just missed at this one point. Or 
or it wasn't even really a miss. Maybe I just didn't execute it as well this time. Or maybe I just didn't. I don't know. I tried a new outfit style that maybe it looked good on somebody else, but it don't really hit as good for me. Or I uploaded at this time. Or I posted at this time. Or, okay, for example, a real life example. I don't think I've posted a reel in forever recently. My page views and shit have went down because... Everybody knows reels are the way to get up there. I've been doing this YouTube shit every day. I haven't posted a reel. Yes, I could work harder and do that, but I'm not that focused on like just post reel, 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 reel. Because I understand what comes with it, but I'm not going to be like, wow, my page dropped from 1 million viewers or whatever. What the fuck does this say? 1 million accounts reached in the last few days and now it's at 300, 400K. Bro, you haven't posted nothing. Obviously, like it makes sense. It's all and that's why I do like Instagram because it's hella predictable. It's okay But I need people to start getting out their heads bro and realizing how far you come what you've done If you haven't started what you can do if you just get your ass up and go bro Like oh my god, bro, and I'm getting like my body getting hot cuz I'm so passionate about what I'm trying to tell y'all right now And it's I know if 10,000 people watch this video only 20 of them gonna actually get up and go do something bro Get out your fucking head, bro. It's time. Like, oh, 2024. I'm going to get on X, Y, and Z in 2024. That's why I never do that. That's why I don't listen to people that do that shit. Because, bro, that shit goes out the window in two weeks. You try. Didn't do as good as you wanted to do. You quit. Okay. Like, at least you tried. I give you the credit for trying. Because a lot of people who talk shit don't even try anyway. But now what? You just going to wait till next year? You only young and turned for so long, bro. Like, and that's just the honest to God truth. But, yeah, man. I don't know. I just wanted to rant on this video. I just cleaned up. It's Valentine's Day. I'm finna have a little self-care day. Go, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. But that made me feel a lot better because um, I think people just need to fix the way they think. You are, you can't be your own worst enemy, bro. And that enemy, you versus you as your enemy, though, that shit is gonna hit way harder than any outside source because you can't run from your fucking brain, bro. All you can do is, I guess, if you start having that, negative thoughts realize how far you didn't come and realize maybe that's just the nervousness or insecurity or x y and z that you need to work on or fix but my advice for that is just completely fall into that shit because you fall into it it'll probably be the best change you ever have in your life but i don't know man that's all i wanted to say on this video shout out my dogs bro shout out all my friends shout out everybody that's supportive of me shout out all of y'all i just want y'all to be great bro and i feel like i didn't get this fucking platform to just like be bullshitting bro i didn't i did not bro and i always said i was gonna always be the one to look out for everybody who support me so if that's me <clears throat> able to just give advice right now because i'm not as rich as i want to be to where i could just send all of y'all money if i had that i would be on that all day but all i can do is give gems and shit out right now and y'all just need to listen to me bro just listen oh my god all right i gotta stop this video no cap